Oh, Gustavus Kopp uh, getting a little bit of criticism from the Fluminense fans, which uh, I think will inspire him. As this uh, Vonage shot God. is an absolute cracker from Dudu. That is how you answer your critics. Scarpa's going to get an assist for that one. But what a bullet shot from Dudu to liven up this game in the Maracanã. He really gave it some welly. Scarpa celebrates. Dudu comes across to the bench. What a wicked shot that was. And of course, Gustavo Scarpa had to have a hand, took it down well, and just wellied that one into the top corner. One of the most beautiful goals in the competition so far. Look at that. That is just a stunning score for Dudu, the top scorer of the club in this century. His 72nd goal for Palmeiras. Incredible goal for Dudu to open up the score here. Well, this is exactly what you were saying, Mauricio, about uh, Palmeiras uh, at least. Is he, uh, or are they going to say they interfered with play? And there's a mile offside, we're going to find out in just a second. Well, there you have it. John. It's, it's the offside rule is one of those things you've got three players clearly. Let's green shorts. Yeah, the original jersey of Fluminense is so beautiful. Tricolor. Well, here they come, the first attack, and it's a deflection of Everton's down, and Fluminense celebrate Iago Felipe. A wicked deflection to send it into the back of the net, but exactly what Fluminense and their fans wanted right at the start of this second period. We talked about the perfect start for Palmeiras in the set in the first half, and look at this start of Fluminense in the second one. Great goal there. Let's take a look at the replay. Counted on a deflection and fooled Weverton. Now 1-1 here, Fluminense Palmeiras. I think it's the back of uh, Luan and uh, clearly steered it in the opposite direction. I don't think, uh, apart from Luan, I don't think a white shirt got a touch at the start of the second period. Now let's see how the Fluminense fans react to that one. Massive slice of luck, you have to say that. But in football, uh, perhaps sometimes you deserve to get the rubber green. Fluminense is already running forward. There you go. Are we in for late drama? A decent effort! Ilogo Felipe has given us that late drama! And maybe, just maybe, given all three points to Fluminense. He found the space. He celebrates. And the Maracanã erupts. Two golasos being scored in that goal. One by Dudu in the first half. And now Iago Felipe, what a shot. No chances for the best goalkeepers of the Americas, Weverton. Let's watch the whole play again. Beautiful goal by Fluminense in the second half, John. Only curled it forward. And who would have thought the midfielder would have a brace here? He was uh, a little bit fortunate. I like that style. <laughs>